everybody. In this video will show you how you can activate Expo uh, in your BIOS. Keep in mind, I'm doing this on an MSI motherboard, but it can be different for you, maybe hidden in a different area in the settings. But then I mean in the settings of the BIOS. But before we go into it, just a few words about it for those who don't know. AMD Expo, uh, short for Extended Profiles for Overclocking, is a technology designed by AMD to simplify the process of running RAM at its advertised higher than default speeds. Think of it as a pre-calibrated one-click overclocking solution for your memory. Now, when you install the RAM or it was installed for you, it defaults to very basic low speed setting determined by the GEDC standard, which guarantees compatibility across all systems. This default speed is often much slower than what's printed on the RAM stickers box, for example, like uh, 6000 uh, Hz or uh, MT uh, per second, which is mega transfers per second. Uh, so this type of RAM kit will likely run at 4800 uh, MTS uh, mega transfers per second out of the box until you enable an Expo profile. Now, Expo profiles, which are saved directly on the RAM module, contain specific settings such as frequency, timing, and voltage. They've been tested and validated by the memory manufacturer to be stable for that particular kit. So. Enabling Expo in your motherboard's BIOS allows you to instantly apply these optimized settings and get the full performance you actually paid for. This without tinkering around with uh, manual settings. Now, if you heard the term uh, XMP, well, AMD Expo is a direct equivalent of Intel's XMP, Extended Memory Profile. Both technologies serve the same purpose, providing a simple way to enable RAM kits full speed. All right, so that aside, let's move on. Now, if you decide to do it, make it at your own risk, uh, but make sure also to check the temperatures uh, because again, it will increase the voltage as well. So this is the uh, one for the MSI motherboard that I have. So you can see I have memory and I can just switch there from standard to Expo 1. This is basically a profile that is available within uh, the uh, RAM module itself. Now, if you look here to the side, you can actually see it says 4800 uh, uh, mega transfer per second. But again, this is the module. It's not a mistake. This is the 6K module. But you can see this is because of the standard. When you change to XMP1, again, although this is not XMP, uh, you can actually see that now uh, it changes. But this is just reflecting uh, the actual uh, uh, values that you're going to get once you make the change. So when you are buying RAM, make sure to see, you know, which one is actually optimized to. So this one is actually optimized for AMD. So once you finish it, uh, you finish, uh, make the change, very simple change. You just save it, close, save the configuration and restart your computer. Next, you can dial the software called CPU-Z uh, and at CPUID.com. Then go to memory tab and it should show you uh, 3K. Again, 3K because again, we are talking about uh, DDR. And as you know, or don't know, DDR stands for uh, double data rate. So basically, if you see 3K, uh, it's good. I mean, that uh, the advertised speech that is uh, 6K uh, mega transfer per second refers to the effective data rate. Uh, but CPU-Z display the actual clock speed, which exactly half of that effective rate. So a 6K uh, mega threads per second RAM kit is technically operating at clock speed of uh, 3K megahertz. And since it's double data rate memory, the effective data transfer rate is indeed 6K or 6,000 thousands mega threads per second. Yeah, and basically that's it. it. Took me just a few minutes to do it. Just make sure again that you read first the official uh, guide. And if you don't find on the official website information, you can Google it and you're gonna find it somewhere else. It should be pretty easy to do because it was designed to do it and, and in the settings. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be relatively easy for you to do as well. Thanks for watching.